Hey guys, Miss Quinn here. Happy Tuesday. I hope you had a nice Memorial Day weekend. Um, I'm back with a math lesson today on hundreds, tens, and ones place value review. This is something we've done a lot of in first grade and you'll continue to do a lot of when you get to second grade. So I thought this would be a great review for us this week. So I'm going to take myself away and go through this lesson with you guys. All right, guys, hundreds, tens, and ones. Understand that two digits of a two-digit number represent the amounts of tens and ones, and also that three digits in a three-digit number represents hundreds, tens, and ones. That's the step we're adding today to that standard. All right, so let's look at our math book pages. It says you can use hundreds, tens, and ones to show a number. So you'll see you have a big block for hundreds, it's like a flat block, has 10 rows of 10 sticks, makes a hundred, okay? I can count them if I get close. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Okay, right next door we have a 10 stick. Sometimes this is called a rod, but it has 10 little ones all stuck together, 10 little blocks. And I know when I see a stick, it's a group of 10. In my last column, I have ones. These are just little cubes, little blocks all by themselves, and they are one each. So this number all together is one 100, one 10, and six ones. So it's 100, 110, six ones. The number is 116. So that's how we're doing that. Let's try one together. So we have 100, 110, and four little ones. So over here, I'm going to type. I have one 100, one 10 stick, and four little ones. That number all together is 114. See? All right, let's practice a couple more. So look here, we have a hundred, a ten, and one little one. So we have one one hundred, one ten, and one one, and that number is one hundred eleven. Same here, a hundred, a ten, and eight little ones. So one, one, eight. 118 is the answer for that one. Hmm, look at this last one. Something's missing. There are no tens. So I have a hundred and then nothing and then nine little ones. So I'll type it in just like that. 100, no tens, and nine little ones. Sorry, <laughs> nine little ones. What is that number? Good, 109. It's okay to not have a tens place. If they don't have a picture of one, it means zero. All right, let's do one more. They don't give us the other columns to fill in. We just have to take what the picture is and make the number. So what number is this? Jessica models a number in the chart. What number does she model? I see a 100, a 10, and nine little ones, 119. All right, look at this word problem. It says Evie collects stickers. She has 100, 110, and two ones. How many stickers does Evie have? Now, the book didn't give me any columns, so I drew one out real fast. That's a skill we learned in school to draw our chart if we need to. We used to do a tens and ones chart. Now we're adding that hundreds place over here. So how many hundreds did she have in her stickers? Good, she had one. 100, 1, 10, and 2, ones. So how many stickers does Evie have? 112 stickers. Okay, that's how you do tens and ones place value, and then we added the hundreds to it. That's a little new. We've only done a little bitty bit of that, but it's something you'll do a lot of next year. All right, so let's talk about what you're doing in Google Classroom. You have a tens and ones activity, but it adds a hundred in as well. So you're going to go through and you're going to build the number using the sticks and cubes and blocks. You'll see that in there, the flats, the hundred flat. So you'll do those and then I'll check it 
And that's all we have for math this week because it's a short math time. Monday was a uh, no school day. But I do have IXL for you, and you're welcome to play anything you would like to. I know there are some great place value games on there if you'd like to do that. Or go over any of the other skills we've talked about this year. We're in our review weeks right now. I miss you guys. I hope you're doing well. Can't wait to see you at our Google Meet. And I'll be looking for your great work in Google Classroom.